Hey, Mitch Petrie here, Outdoor Channel. I wanted to talk to you a little bit about turkey addiction and some signs of uh, whether or not you may have a turkey addiction. If you have a full-size turkey in your office, you may have a turkey addiction. If on your computer screen you have a photo of your favorite hunt from your kids, you may have a turkey addiction. If you have turkey content playing on your big screen and on your secondary monitor in your office, it is quite possible that you have a turkey addiction. Also, if the only catalog that you keep on your desk is the turkey catalog and it happens to be marked with a turkey feather, my guess is you could have a turkey addiction. Oh my gosh, if you have a ringtone on your phone that's a turkey calling, you probably have a turkey addiction. And look who's calling here. We got Michael Waddell. What's up, Michael? Mitch Petrie, tell me a story, big man. Hey, I'm filming a public service announcement about turkey addiction, something you might know very well, Michael. Mitch, do I know about it? I've suffered from it since I've been 12 years old, and I don't know what kind of announcement you can make, but you have to make sure you let everybody know that there's no drug, there's no cure as far as i found, but I'm addicted too. So uh, I hear you, Michael. Buddy. We're doing what we can. We're doing what we can to help people out. Thanks for calling, my friend. Keep doing it, buddy. Can't I stop the flop. Not the All right. Can't stop the flop, baby. All right. Good luck this <laughs> season. Bye. That right there is a guy who has a turkey addiction. You know what? If you on your desk have licenses for multiple states that are organized in the dates in which you are going to be hunting, you may have a turkey addiction. I tell you what, as we move through the office, if you had so many fans on your walls in your home in your office that you have them laying around on the floor, it's a possibility that you have a turkey addiction. And uh, I'm going to show you a couple of others. Let's see, the random uh, pot full of turkey feathers. Let's go outside here and see what we find. If on your truck you have a license plate that has a turkey, you may have a turkey addiction. If when you get into your truck and you keep on your dash a diaphragm call so you can call while you're driving, probably have a turkey addiction. Not very good at that. But if in your truck you installed a electronic call so that when you are scouting turkeys, you don't even have to leave your truck to do some scouting and locating, you may have a turkey addiction. Ladies and gentlemen, turkey addiction is real. And I don't want to alarm you. Uh, I'm just here to tell you that you're not alone. And there's good news. The good news is this. There's a cure for turkey addiction. It's turkey season all over the country. And men and women of this great nation are out hunting turkeys. It's the only cure. And it's something that I recommend you do this weekend if you can or next weekend or by the end of may depending on where you're at get out hunt turkeys have a good time if you can't hunt turkeys watch turkey hunting on outdoor channel or sportsman's channel or take it with you on my outdoor tv it's the only cure for turkey addiction get out there shoot one in the face and heaven forbid shoot it in the face with a shotgun just like god intended thanks everybody have a great Turkey season, be safe.